Hello again, continuing the series on fitness training. And as I've already mentioned, there's numerous types of fitness, lots of different activities. And what we are mainly concerned about is task oriented fitness for combatives. And there's a book which is devoted entirely to this. And uh, its title really gives you the clue to it. Fit to Fight by my old friend Peter Constantine. The Manual of Intense Training for Combat. So the, the book starts off where Pete gives um, kind of a mini bio of himself. And um, one of the things he says is that when he was at school, he wasn't really interested in, in sports at all. And it was only when he took up karate that he became interested in uh, physical training. And that really parallels my own experience. I, I, I was exactly the same at school. Um, I was never interested in, in, in playing um, football or uh, cricket, any of those things. Uh, did a bit of cross country and that was about it, really. And we had a really good gym, and um, but it was just underused. And it, it's a bit of... Um, an indictment really of the education system and you got two guys who've spent their entire adult lives in, involved in um, physical training and, and teaching um, that uh, the schools never ignited that interest. Anyway, um, Pete uh, was, was uh, involved in um, um, originally uh, Wado Karate and um, he started working the doors in Manchester um, and the place he worked um, became a massive venue, a huge, really huge place and um, he, he decided that um, he didn't, the, the, the type of fitness training he was getting purely from martial arts didn't really um, stack up against the requirements of, of the job so he broadened it out and looked for other types of fitness, other avenues. And um, in, in the book, he very, very succinctly describes why this is the case, what you need to add to the program, why the different forms of fitness activity are important, what they give you and uh, how you should train in them. So one of, one of the first parts of the book, and I think I may have quoted this before when I was talking about one of Pete's other books, but it was, it was so... Um, it, it, it was so, so um, it, it, pivotal and in, in influential to, to me when, when I first read this. Um, he used to do a session regularly, uh, outdoors training with a, a group of fellow martial artists. And one of the activities was running up a very steep hill with a partner on your back. I... Quoting, I know that when I'm on a hill with someone on my back that I'll make it to those last few feet to the top, however bad I'm feeling. Some days you won't make it through a training session for whatever reason. But what you also know is that on those days when you're having a bad one, that if you don't succeed today, you'll be back tomorrow and make up for it. You should be intimidated by your training sessions. Not everyone, but at least two or three out of four to five a in a week. If you're not intimidated by these special sessions, then they're not hard enough. You should literally find it hard to sleep the nights before. These sessions may be on the hills or in the dojo or the gym, but whenever they should be so hard that only very few people will consistently train with you. Now, um, this book came out in... Um, Let's, let me just check the mid nineties. Okay. And, uh, it was that reading that was very influential to me, um, because it became a yardstick. And I remember somebody I was training with at the time, um, said he was talking to somebody who had attended one of Pete's seminars and, and they, they did a, a really hard, um, a series of drills and, and the guy went oh that was hard training and, and Pete said that was the warm-up mate we haven't started yet you know 
that's the kind of training that you need. That's the kind of training that um, works specifically for uh, fighting, for combatives. And that's what this book's completely about. It's about that aspect of it. So another big section of the book, uh, after he's talked about all the different uh, types of programs and uh, equipment, what you need and uh, what, what you, you find in the gyms and so on, is uh, the human machine, which is about the body physiology and how it works, um, all the components uh, for fitness. It's very scientific. It goes on a, about um, um, the VO2 max and all, all that kind of thing in, in very, very um, much detail. Uh, and really gives you everything you need to know on the subject. It, it's, you know, it's, um, this is material that doesn't date because it's the human physiology. And um, I, I find it very, very uh, useful. A uh, big section on running, because um, as, as we said, uh, one of Pete's uh, favourite exercises is hill running. And uh, you, you, you may remember when I reviewed Lofty's book, um, SAS Personal Trainer, he, he said, you know, there's a difference between jogging and running. And um, Peter talks about the different types of running, uh, how you can um, get the most out of it. And hill running is, and particularly with a partner on your back, is obviously, um, you know, a very severe form of exercise that gives you real big benefits. So, um, the, the, it, it's not a massive book, but it's full of information. It's information dense. Peter is a very smart, intelligent instructor and communicates very, very well. It's an interesting book to read as, as well as informative. Um, and as a companion to the book, there's a DVD called Training Day, which is, this is a very high intensity workout and only for the very fittest, any committed martial art or whatever discipline would learn from this film. Basically, it's one of the training days that Pete and his um, colleagues used, used to go through and it just takes you through and it's a variety of drills, uh, some aerobic, some anaerobic, uh, pad training, some... Um, equipment work um sprints and so on in a, in a big massive gym uh but again all to do with fighting it's all based on um your ability to uh, win a fight to, to help you win a fight and all aspect all aspects and of course the thing is um fighting is unpredictable you don't know what you're going to need <clears throat> You know, is it going to be an endurance event? Probably not, but it can be. Is is it going to involve intense physical activity before or after in a, an escape phase, for example? Um, but what we do know, it's going to be intense and you're going to have to use explosive uh, application of strength and impact. So the book and the DVD will give you so much information for that. And I recommend it to anybody who's involved in any kind of self-protection endeavors and training. It really is, uh, even though the book was written in the mid nineties, it's still full of highly relevant information.